So I left you guys hanging about a month and a half ago, give or take, somewhere around there, where I told you I'm building a new app, I was real excited, I showed you guys the little designs I made on Adobe XD, but I didn't really talk much about it. So let me let me talk about it and then transition to the big, the big point of this video. So this app, the Coffee Dev app, was going to be similar to Freelancer.com and Upwork.com, but it was going to be mobile version and it was going to be more high scale. It was going to filter out all of those people from overseas where they underbid you for $200, $300. I'm not saying those people couldn't be on the platform, but they wouldn't be able to underbid you, you know, if you're trying to build a $2,000 app, they can come in and build it for $200 and you can't compete with that type of that type of deal. So I was going to figure out a way, I was going to implement a way to filter out those types of undercuts. And I still really like the idea. I may implement it in web in the future, but not right now because I'm doing iOS development. I want to build an iOS app. That's what this channel is about. That's what I want to do. And this won't work on mobile for one main reason. If I'm a developer, your client, you pay me a thousand dollars to build an app. I'm only going to get like $600 worth, right? So the app is going to take their 10% cut just like Upwork or Freelancer does. And then Apple is going to be taking 30%. They take 30% of everything. If you buy an app, Apple gets 30%. For ads, Apple gets 30%. Subscriptions, in-app purchases, Apple gets 30%. So as you can see, this model wouldn't work because I would be left with $600 for a $1,000 app that I built someone else. You know, the client is paying $1,000. There's no reason not to really figure out a way to get around this mobile application and just figure out something through PayPal because either the client can pay $400 less or the developer can make $400 more or they can split it somewhere in the middle where the developer makes $200 more and the, the client spends $200 less. So that being said, I am not building that app. I am going back to an app that I mentioned back at the beginning of iDev Journey. So this was sometime last year when I was first getting into iOS development. This is the app that made me dive into iOS development. I always wanted to do iOS development. I kind of dabbled. I'm like, okay, but then this app, I'm like, I need to build this application. So I need to learn iOS development. And that's what I did. I'm starting to learn iOS development or I did start to learn iOS development. But then somewhere along the line, I had this other idea. I'm like, oh, that'd be pretty cool idea. And like I said, I like the idea, but it won't work on mobile. I don't know what made me like that one more than this other one, which is the stock trading app. It's a social app for stock traders on the stock market. And there are some other apps kind of like it where, you know, something like stock twits where you can connect stock traders. But this one is definitely different, definitely hasn't been done before. And it's just another niche inside the stock trader market. So that's the app that I'm going to be building. Sorry it's been so long for the update. Uh, if you wish to have more consistent updates, because on this this channel, I would like to up, update or upload a video every one to two days. Not every one to two days. Once or twice a week, but if you wish to get an update just about every single day, I just started this new little thing on Instagram where I'm going to be posting day zero, day one. Right now I'm going to be posting day four today. I talk about what I developed and what I kind of went over the day before. So it might not just be about development, but kind of design, maybe not design so much since I'm out of that process, but business, marketing, those types of plans. Most of it will be iOS development related, kind of going over what I developed the day before and kind of the process I'm in. So you'll be getting just about daily updates on that. It'll be a post and then in the description, it'll be a decently long description just kind of going over what I did. So go ahead and check out the link down in the description or you can see my name right here. It's forest.swift at Instagram. But I'm not just going to leave you like that. Let me update you guys with where I'm at. I wanted today's video to be integrating Facebook, Twitter, and Google authentication into our app. This is using Firebase as a backend, of course, and it makes it somewhat simple to integrate those three things and I'm not even sure if those three things are necessary to have all of those different types of authentication, but I just kind of wanted to play with it and go into it. I may just implement one, I may just implement two, because after all, I need something, I need an MVP, the minimum, what is it called, minimal viable product or something like that, where I have the basis of my application, it has most of the features I want, it's very usable, bug free, essentially, and that's what I'm gonna be launching on the App Store. So I think I'm just gonna implement a Google login and then of course regular login authentication. And I want 
the next video to be that. That's currently what I'm working on. It's a whole lot harder than I thought it was going to be. We have a whole lot of guides on Firebase.com, on Google.com, because if I'm doing Google Authentication, I go to their website and kind of work around it there. But next video will be integrating login authentication, whether it's all three of those or whether it's just one. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe. It's the button's right there below the like button. I hope to see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions for me, comment down below. And as for the iDev journey, well, iDev journey is gonna be, like I said, on a daily basis over on Instagram and over here once to one to two times a week, probably one time a week. And then if I put out a second video, it may be about iOS development, uh, like my actual app, the iDev journey, or it may be about something else in the iOS development uh, ecosystem. Like I was about to release a video about WWDC, but I've already seen a whole bunch of other people release videos regarding that, whether it's consumer products and developer products. So I'm gonna avoid that and just kind of stick to what I'm good at, and that is my iDev journey. So. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, have a good one. Oh yeah, one more little thing. This video is the official premiere of season two of iDev Journey. Everything iDev related before this was in the learning stage. Of course, we never stopped learning, but the official learning stage, building that foundation. And this, season two, is gonna be me building this application I just told you guys about. So be sure to subscribe. I can't wait for this season two for you guys. I, in all honesty, I can't wait for it to come to an end. I love the process, but once it comes to an end, I'm gonna have an app to show for it. It's gonna be launched, marketing's gonna to start to get into it, and I think that's when we'll start season three. But for right now, enjoy season two of iDev Journey. Hope to see you guys on the road. And until next time, have a good one.